Sir, my name is Alexander Osei. And in our previous lecture, we ended with equilibrium, aggregate expenditure. Now we are coming to do further computations on the equilibrium, right? Good. Now we have understood that aggregate expenditure is equal to income plus investment plus government spending plus export minus import, right? But we know our consumption to be A plus BYD. BYD. So if you are substituting it, right, we know our consumption to be this. And anyway, our, cons our disposable income, our disposable income is also, and our disposable income is also, is also equal to income plus transfer payment minus tax. So our new consumption curve would be C equal to A plus B instead of the YD. Instead of the YD, it will be Y plus YD is equal to Y plus TR minus T. Like this one. Can you see it? So our consumption function is no more C. It is no more this. And it is not this, but it is this. So, we are now going to cast. Okay, let us expand it before. We are going to get consumption equal to A plus BY plus BTR minus BT. So, our consumption is equal to this. So, we are now going to, wherever we see C, we are going to put the whole of this there. Wherever, wherever we see C, wherever we see C, we are going to put the whole of this thing there. Right, good. So our new aggregate expenditure function is going to be instead of the C, you're going to get A plus B Y plus B T plus B T R minus B T. Right? Good. So this is our consumption. Then we come to plus investment plus government spending plus export minus import. This is how it is going to be. I hope you, you can see that. Nice one. So from there, we have reached here. But we know that at equilibrium, at equilibrium, at equilibrium, national income is equal to aggregate expenditure or output is equal to expenditure. So at equilibrium, let me use my blue marker. At equilibrium, at, oh, at equilibrium, right? At equilibrium, aggregate expenditure is equal to income. It is very important to write this because in exams we mark them. We mark them. So at equilibrium, aggregate expenditure is equal to y. So I'm going to get if aggregate expenditure is equal to y, then I can put y here equal to a plus b y plus B, T, R, everything here, minus B, T, plus I, plus G, plus X, minus M. Group of like terms, I have Y here, so I can bring all the Y here, right? So I'll get Y minus B, Y. Why again, can I find Y? Why again, why again, why again? I think it's only this one, right? Equal to A, Plus this one is one, so plus D B T R minus B T plus I plus D plus export minus import. I can do further computation here. I can get Y out one minus B. Have you seen that? The minor propensity to save, or have you seen the minor propensity? It has come here, right? So equal to a plus B T R minus B T plus I plus D plus X minus M, right? So we divide through. We will divide through by. We will divide through by one minus B. So Y minus Y is bracket one minus B equal to. A plus B T R minus B T 
plus investment plus government spending plus export minus import. So we divide both sides by 1 minus D because we want to make income a subject. We are calculating for the income. That's why we say national income determination. We are determining the income. So we divide here by what? 1 minus B. So this one will cancel this. So income, which is the equivalent income, is equal to A plus B T R minus B T plus investment plus government spending plus export minus import, right? All over 1 minus B. But for the sake of mathematics, I don't want to do it all over 1 minus B. I'll bring it here. 1 over 1 minus B times 3 times. I'm multiplying this one by this. Oh, it makes sense because of mathematics. So it's the same thing. You can do all over like this. But because of mathematics, this is how I'm going to do it. So national equilibrium national income is equal to this. Our next lecture, we are going to look at how to represent equilibrium on a curve. So we are going to look at the aggregate expenditure curve. Bye-bye.